Hold me tight. Don't let me go. Why do people cry at movies? Why do sports fans get so excited during a game? Why do they feel anxious if their team is losing? The answer? Mirror neurons, a set of brain cells on either side of the head that might explain why people feel empathy. What we found is the mechanism that underlies something which is absolutely fundamental to the way that we see other people in the world. The mirror neuron was first discovered at the University of Parma in Italy. Researchers there identified a neuron that fires both when a monkey picks up a peanut and when the monkey watches someone pick up a peanut. The same neurons, one neuron, fire both when the monkey observes something and when the monkey is doing something. It's almost unbelievable. It was surprising because this cell which was involved with motor planning for the monkey turned out to be interested in the movements of other people as well. The brain uses the mirror neurons to mirror the movements it sees. And this happens in people, too. If you can use the years of training that you yourself have done, learning to crawl, then learning to walk, then learning to eat, this is an incredibly rich set of knowledge that you could apply to the problem of actually seeing what's going on. The mirror system is the way that you tap into, the way that you harness your own abilities and project them out into the world. So sports fans can picture themselves playing when they watch a game. But what makes them feel the pain when their favorite player drops the ball? So the idea was to try to figure out how the emotional system and this motor system are connected together. To find out, Marco Iacoboni looked at the brain scans of individuals when he presented them with a series of faces. In the first round, he asked people to imitate the faces. In the second round, he asked people to simply look at the faces. As expected, he found that the mirror neurons were activated during both rounds. But in addition, he found that the happy area of the brain lit up whenever people either imitated or looked at happy faces. So he thinks the mirror neurons can send messages to the emotional system in our brain. And that's the mechanism that allows us to feel empathy with other people. We strongly believe that that's a unifying mechanism that allows people to actually connect at a very simple level. So what happens if the mechanism is broken? It's been known for some time that children with autism could be quite intelligent, but have a profound deficit in social interaction. Christian likes to play, but like many kids with autism, he prefers to play alone. He has a hard time communicating and does not always understand questions. So Christian, can you tell me what you did in school today? Doing well. You're doing Dr. Well. Ramachandran and his graduate yes. student hope to gain understanding of autism by studying the brain waves of children like well Christian. Mm. So we're going to be reading your brain waves with this cap. When mirror neurons are working correctly, they fire both for doing an action and seeing the same action. So for most people, the brain waves for doing and seeing look the same. But for Christian, the waves look different. Their brains may indeed be different in that regard, and they may have deficits in the mirror neuron system. But we don't know this for sure yet, and there needs to be additional work needs to be done using brain imaging. What we do know is that healthy humans are very social. Everybody's interested in this question. What makes humans unique? You can say humor, you are the laughing biped. Language, certainly, okay? But another thing is culture. And a lot of culture comes from imitation, watching your teachers do something. So it sounds like the mirror neuron is a big part of what makes us human. There would be very little point in having a mirror system if you lived on your own. There'd be a lot of point in having a digestive system if you lived on your own. There'd be a good point in having a movement system if you lived on your own. There'd be a good point in having a visual system if you lived on your own. But there'd be no point in having a mirror system. The mirror system is the most basic social brain system. It's a brain system which there's no point in having if you don't want to interact or relate to other people.